A police officer is never a very good idea, and taunting an entire police department on Facebook, even worse. That's what Rosenberg PD says a suspect did to them today, and 15 minutes later, he was cuffed and stuffed. Mark Boyle, live tonight with what happened here. Mark? Bill, the suspect in this case, according to police, would target unlocked cars. He would go in and steal cell phones, sunglasses, GPS devices. Now, here's where things take a different turn today. Investigators were searching for him. They put something on Facebook saying they were looking for him. That suspect ended up posting on that post. Well, he wasn't free for much longer. You can go ahead and log this one under the dumb criminals file. Detectives say over the weekend, Rolando Lozano and his brother Damien went car to car in the Seaborn Meadows area of Rosenberg and broke into 17 cars. Damien was arrested yesterday, and police put up a wanted post for his brother Rolando this morning. Uh, when we put it out on Facebook asking for the community for help today and, and seeking th this subject. He but to their surprise, Rolando actually responded with, I'm innocent, catch me if you can, on the police department's page. Well, he got what he wanted. We don't take that lightly, and so what we did is that within minutes of him posting that, we were able to make an arrest. Residents in the Seaborn Meadows neighborhood say they're thankful the police department is so active with social media. Vivian Cardenas saw the post this morning and was relieved to hear about the arrests. That was scary because it just makes you think, like, how many more could they have possibly have? And some neighbors say, how many times do you have to be told, just be careful what you put on Facebook, especially in this case for that one suspect. Meanwhile, both suspects are in custody, charged in connection to all of those break-ins. From reporting live tonight, Mark Boyle, KPRC Local 2. All right, Mark, thank you. Police are questioning neighbors right now in that area to see if there are potentially more victims to whom the suspects might be connected.